Hey, what's up? This is Reed. Today I'm excited to show you something that I think you'll really like. Brilliant is a smart home control panel that replaces your typical light switch, but it does so much more than you might think. If you're like me, you probably have a lot of smart home devices around your house, like a doorbell, lights, lock, thermostat, and I thought about mounting an old tablet on the wall to use as a dashboard, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. Brilliant fulfills the same need in an elegant way. They sent me a review unit, and I'll be showing you everything you can integrate with it. As you can see, Brilliant has an amazing design and it's easy to use since everything is just one or two clicks away. Even though it can be nice to control devices with your voice or an app on your phone, there's something to be said about quickly pressing a button on the wall. So now let's look at seven ways to control your home with Brilliant. First, I have Brilliant connected to my Ring doorbell and Schlage lock, and I was really impressed on how well these work together. When someone rings the doorbell, it shows up on the Brilliant screen right when the chime is going off which I was surprised on how fast it shows up on the Brilliant screen. It does take a few seconds for Ring to load up the video, but once it does, you can talk to them and there's a button to unlock the door. Brilliant connects to the Schlage lock using SmartThings, or if you have an August lock, Brilliant can connect to that as well. I know with the Ring alarm system, you can connect the Ring doorbell with the Schlage lock, but you need the Ring alarm hub, and if I can pass on getting another hub, I will. Next, Brilliant can connect to your smart lights if you have Philips Hue or lights connected to smart things. I have three Hue lights in the dining room area, LifeX Z light strip above connected using smart things, as well as some lights in the back and a few other lights around the house connected to smart things. Brilliant can only turn your smart lights on or off or change the brightness. It can't change the colors or import scenes but I was able to find a workaround using SmartThings virtual switches. The way I got Brilliant to change the color of my lights is by creating scenes in SmartThings with different color lights and then automating those scenes with virtual switches in SmartThings. Then I was able to import the virtual switches into Brilliant. I know it sounds a little complicated, but once I got it all set up, it works great. Now I can control almost any smart light in my house using Brilliant, which is pretty awesome. Now controlling the lights wired to the actual switch. There are a few different ways of physically turning your lights on or off, and they're all really easy. You can swipe up or down on the screen to turn the light on or off. You can also hold down on the screen and drag your finger up or down to change the brightness of the light. If you use two fingers to swipe up or down, all the lights set to that room will turn off or on. The screen is really responsive, and even my four-year-old had no problem swiping on the screen to turn the lights on or off. If you get a Brilliant that is larger than the one light switch size, You'll have sliders for similar controls. You can also touch the slider to toggle the light on or off. What's nice is that these sliders or swiping on the screen don't have to control the lights that are physically connected to the brilliant light switch. You can have a slider change your hue or smart light. Everything is very customizable in the settings without being too overwhelming. You can also use the motion sensor built into brilliant to turn the lights on or to turn on the brilliant screen when you walk up to it if you don't want the brilliant screen always on. They have a really helpful tool in the motion settings to dial in the motion sensitivity. It shows you in real time how much motion it's picking up and you can change the thresholds. This should be the standard for configuring motion on devices. Another thing you can control with Brilliant is your Nest, Ecobee, or Honeywell thermostat. I tested out on the Honeywell T9 that I reviewed recently as well as the Nest and they both worked well. I didn't use this as much as the lights, but it's a nice to have if you're far away from the thermostat. Brilliant has a built in, but it was a little limited on some of the things. Like it can't drop in or play music from it. Music and radio playback are not supported on this device. However, when I asked what the weather was, it showed a nice visual of the weather. You can always turn off Alexa, and if you do, there isn't a little red light or anything annoying if it's turned off. There are lots of devices Brilliant is compatible with. Sonos is an awesome integration for selecting music to play from Spotify or Pandora on your Sonos speakers. It also works with Lutron and HomeKit should be coming soon. I spoke with a few people that work on Brilliant and they said that HomeKit should be coming in June or July. They also said there should be more integrations coming like LifeX, so expect to see more integrations in the future. Lastly, there's an intercom you can use if you have multiple Brilliant light switches. You can do an audio or video call. Dad, come play me. You can't call a Brilliant from your phone, which is a bit disappointing because you can do that with an Echo Show. They did say they're working on a feature where if you receive a motion alert, you can see what's going on from your phone. I guess we'll see what they end up doing in the future. Installing Brilliant was as simple as any other light switch I've installed in my house. 
It works fine with three-way light switches, as long as the second switch that controls the same lights is a toggle switch and not a dimmer switch. There are also scenes that you can create, which allow you to quickly click on it and run a bunch of actions. You can also schedule these scenes or pin one to the home screen. For example, I have a movie scene that I have pinned to the Brilliant in my kitchen, so when I'm grabbing a snack and heading over to the couch, I can walk by and press the scene and it'll turn off the lights in my kitchen and dim the other lights. I had a lot of fun setting up scenes in Brilliant and I wrote down some more ideas about scenes in an article right up here and I include some more things about Brilliant which I don't include in this video. One little annoyance I found is when I added integrations into Brilliant. I couldn't use the app to add them. I had to type out my login information on the screen on the light switch. I know that they're working on adding this to the app so hopefully it's fixed with an update. A little bonus feature is that you can change the background to any image you want. My daughter loved it when I put a picture of her on there. It's like one of those little digital picture frames, except it's a light switch. The screen is 5 inches and 720p. It still looks high quality and stands out in a good way. Brilliant is pricey, but as you can see, it can do quite a bit. If you have a lot of smart home devices and want a control panel for them, then Brilliant might make sense for your home. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more smart home videos, and we'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver, who keeps changing the background to be the dog? It couldn't be... Luna!